Hello guys and welcome back to Tyken Sun's Lumberco. So um last time we beat night one and night two and now we have to make we already made a wooden bird, right? Yeah we need to build a wooden bird and a shipwreck. How do you build a shipwreck? So basically this game is about I mean a lumber company. You literally just, you literally like work for a lumber company and you water bottles. I can never get water bottles. I, I I honestly like when I whenever I need water bottles I can't get them. What, excuse me? Isn't the cocktail bar supposed to give me um water bottles? I swear it's supposed to. Yeah, I got a water bottle. Okay. I want to go here and play these games. All right. And I want a wooden frog. Get five flowers. Oh yeah, this is weird. This music is fire. Hold on. Wait, so is this all you do? But it, it said get five. I don't know where the last one is. Yeah, I, I, I knew there was something to it. Like, it wasn't going to be that easy. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. I, I just didn't see the one behind me. I don't know how. Congrats for the reward. Wooden frog. Let's get a paper plate. Wait, is it? Oh, so they try to they try to hit me with. Is the bird trying to poop on me right now? All right. Well, this is kind of. No. Oh. He's starting to be more consistent. But I grazed it. It's rigged. Like my foot it touched like a fraction of it. Not even a fraction. It touched like, it touched like an atom of a molecule in the bird poop and then it just it was just over. Run, run, run. Oh, it's in front of me. Just run, please. Go, go, go! Okay. Wait, so can I, like, place the wooden frog somewhere? Alright, finally. Dang. Shipwreck. Only took me, like, 20 minutes, right? Shit, <laughs> I think it actually did. Okay, 15, but it doesn't really matter. Or 14, really. Silva wants to thank you for your efforts. Go meet her at the birdhouse. Didn't I already do that, like... Whoa, does Seabill actually live here? Yes, bro, he does. It's his cabin. And why... Oh, and we were talking about the one and only Seabill? The one who survived the most brutal robot attack to date? We do, bro. Stillish hat. Exotic res residence. Owner of Seabill Industries. That's him. Whoa, that's sick. I'm his biggest fan. Especially the story about him surviving the robot attack, attack is incredible. What? Sure, but he doesn't want to talk about that, really. You gotta respect that. Understand? Understood. And watch, we're about to ask him, and he's about to be like, he's about to just box us. <laughs> he's about to literally just box us. Thanks, the wooden bird and broken ship will come in handy someday, I assume. To me or to you? Why would you make, why would you get me to make them if you don't know when they're going to, you know what? For now, I really don't have any tasks for you, and I think it's only fair that I give you something in return. Money? No, not money. Oh my gosh. Who told you that? I would. Act oh, who told you that I would actually pay you with money? I have something far better. What? Some peeps were talking about me outside? They mentioned a robot attack? I feel a bit uncomfortable talking about that, but I guess you deserve to know. It happened a few years ago. I was attacked that night. Wait. By a giant killer robot. Let me turn the lights off. Oh, oh, oh. Woo! Oh. <laughs> By a giant killer robot. Okay. A loud noise woke me up. I looked out the window and saw the machine. I mean, like, the light isn't... I mean, this light is on. Like, you know, the light that I used to, like, you know... Like, because if that light was off, he wouldn't be able to see anything. <laughs> but, like, a loud noise woke me up. I looked out the window and saw the machine. The heck? It had weapons all over it, and it looked like a giant floating egg. I tried reaching out on my wing, hoping that it would come in peace. Doing it like an adult, you know? It's an alien. <laughs> it's an it's, it's gonna kill you, pal. And it has to think in straight at you. One thing I got in return was a light blue beam that destroyed my house. Yep. I ended up lying in between piles of burned down wood that once were my cabin. 
But surprisingly, I was unharmed. Well, that was kind of um, unbelievable. <laughs> like, I, I actually don't believe him. No, I'm just kidding. To this day, people think I'm invincible, but that's rubbish. I was simply lucky. Sure, pal. It was a sad thing, though, as I lost a whole lot of money that was stored in the cabin. The bad things happen from time to time, and I'm just happy that I'm still alive. Anyway, back to the main topic now. What I actually wanted to give you was this. A key card to the elevator that leads to the most epic place you'll ever visit. Go take a look, you will like what's down there. Okay. I don't trust Sea Billy. What, was that his name, or was it Sea Bill? No, Sea Billy was a... Sea Billy is from something. Like, there's like... There's something called Sea Billy. Because I've seen Sea Bill before. And there's an animatronic called, like, Sea Billy or something like that. That's the only thing I know about him. Because I've seen him before. And I've seen, like, the animatronic Sea Billy. Alright. What's in here? Staff only? Oh, can I go? Nope, I can't go in there. Why are there only ducks down here? So calm and relaxing. What'd you say? Sorry, the music is really loud. That's why I'm screaming like this. Alright. I'm not here for the music. It's too loud. I just think the DJ is really cute. You know what? Let me, let me talk to the DJ. How do I... I'm dead. Oh. Oh. Hey, is that the beaver dance? Rad. Okay. No. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna have to find you for saying rad. <laughs> Aren't you the son of Tyke Chop? Son of the great Chipper Chop? Yeah, I like Tyke better than Chipper, though. <laughs> I heard that your family had some sick remixes to offer back in the days. You should ask your father if he could lend us a classic Beavery remix. Oh my gosh, you know what? I have to wait for this whole elevator thing. Can you hurry up? Hello? <laughs> Dang. Oh, I got something in the mail. I got a fish and I got a water bottle, okay. Hey yo, good that you're here. Listen, I need your help again. Oh my gosh. One of my older robots that I thought was destroyed reactivated himself and now runs a mock in the dump. You still owe me since the coffee incident yesterday. Go fight the robot. Or make it go away, I don't care. As long as our precious company is safe again. Good luck, son. Who am I fighting? Is, is he this way? Something happened that really upsets me. I was supposed to get trashed, yet I am working perfectly fine. I still woke up here in the dump this morning. You animals wanted to trash me. You disgusting, smelly animals. Look at my six pack. I'm ripped. RIPPED! I'm going to crush you. I'm going to smash you to the ground, sit on you, tear you apart, and make lumber up. Pause! What? You think you can stop me? Even your stupid father was too scared to face me. That's why he sent you. You know what? He knows that I'm strong. He made me and forgot to permanently turn me off. Sad thing. It's time to suffer, beaver boy. Oh, now I have to fight him. You know what? Oh, he jumped. What is he doing? Oh, it's over. How do I... There we go. Yep. What do I do? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Please be it. Yeah, he's dead. Bye bye. Don't. Oh my gosh. I knew you could do it. Overall, a pretty neat battle. I give it a 7 out of 10. Okay, that's not that bad. So, in DJ's. Oh, wait, no. So, the DJ in Seabull's Underground Disco wanted a beavery song with a sick beaver beat. Got, okay, okay, got to say that I can deliver. I was young ones too. I know it's the hip. No, I, I know it's hip. This one is called Look What You Made Me Chop by Timber Swift. What <laughs> old classic. Who can just like that? I hope the few oh I hope the few scratches on the disc haven't done anything to the tumor. But there is no better way than to know than to try it out. Go son, tell me if they liked it. I have to walk all the way back there or is it just gonna teleport me? No, I have to go all the way back there, okay. Alright. Thank you, let's try this out. Alright, let's go.
Ah. Okay. Oh, oh. oh. Okay. Woo! That's actually kind of fire. What was I actually kind of fire? What happened? Did, did I just fall in the floor? Oh, it's over. What is that? Zero what? Let me click on stuff. Hey, you. Are you slacking off? I hope not. Back to work. Wait, where's... Wait, your helmet. Where's your... I don't work here. You must wear your helmet at all times. Here, catch. Yeah, I don't catch that. Okay, whatever. Those... those these robots didn't build themselves going out the materials from the caves. Put 200 robo rocks and put them in the container over here. Okay. So these are robo rocks? You know what? I don't even care. Oh. Our barrels are really weak, even a mouse can break them. Oh, okay, so we could just do that. What's that? Need key card. No key card detected. Look at my little dancing boy. Look at him. Ew. I, I mean, I guess he is kind of cute. <laughs> Alright, I have 78 coins. I might honestly buy that pearl soon, but I'm, I'm not going to buy it until I need it. This is the filth... This is the fifth helmet I lost this week. The inspector is gonna get so angry when he hears about this. Okay, I don't care. I honestly don't care. But where do I go? Why did this barrel just spawn here? Oh. Oh, so that, that was his helmet. Okay, I was about to say, why did this barrel just spawn here? My helmet, thank you. I have a secondary key card for the mine bot. Take it, take it, in, oh, wait, take it before the inspector sees that you lost yours. I never had one, pal. All right, key card accepted, happy mining. Collect robo blocks with the oh no robo rocks with the mine bot. All right. So you so you can't turn like when you like you know yeah you can only turn when you're against a wall. Wait. Wait. Oh, so if you like. Hit it three times, you can break it. Okay. Like, oh, I, I'm, I'm like right there. Like, I just made it. All right. Where did I just go? Okay, yeah. Oh, <laughs> but I said that better have been the exit. Dang, it took me like 20 minutes to beat one part. Okay, I know that I got 200. I know, thank you. <laughs> Alright. And I'm not doing that again. Nope. Give me these. I put them in here. Break time. Break time. Break time. Oh. Break time. Break time. Oh. Break time. Break time. Break time. Break time. Break time. I know it's break time, pal. <laughs> Ew! What is that? This is where the workers come to rest and enjoy some of our entertainment animatronics. Oh my god, so cool. Just because I was allowed to bring you to work today doesn't mean we can go all crazy in here. Let's just watch the band. Where's the singer? Oh yeah, the lead singer. Um, do you really want to know the story? Tell me, please. So you probably already knew about the special robot Siebel produced himself a few years back. Yes, I do. Summer crab and the mushroom one. Oh, and the beaver. The mushroom one. Yes, yeah, so we made one for one of... Oh, for us workers, too. He was a duplicate of C Bill, only a little larger. Yeah, this is C Billy, right? Oh, I can't skip it. The name was C Billy, yeah, but it's most just called him C Bill EXE. Mm. He was assigned to entertain and serve drinks and ice cream. But as you can imagine, this didn't end well. Oh my gosh, is, are they boxing? We heard about Summer Crab and the other special robots going wild. One of our four, oh no, one of our workers got so scared that he tried to destroy Sea Billy. We were to stop him, but Sea Billy was broken. 
Well, stop making animatronics. Like, this is what I'm trying to, like, wh why do you still make them? I if you knew this happened, why did you still make them? To the other day, oh, the other day he was missing. We assumed all function made him leave. Well, scary. That's so cool. I hope he visits us, some visits us someday, then I can meet him. Better or not, no one knows the, oh, what the damage really did to him. Well, imagine if he comes to get us at night while we're sleeping in our house, not knowing. Is he going to come to get me? Because like, every time they, like, introduce, like, a character, it get always, like, it, it always appears. Like, in, like, the next night. Wouldn't that be an awesome horror story? I don't think that's a new idea, bro. <laughs> Aw. Please don't say we have to go to sleep now. What's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, I can't do anything with that. Pay three spitters, get a metal bar. Okay, I don't need that yet, but I, I do have three of them, I'm pretty sure. Is it going to lead us back to like that one thing that said like employees only do not enter? Or whatever it said. Staff only? Yeah. That's open. Did you like the song? Okay, he's not talking. Hold on. Okay. Yep, okay. <laughs> We're done. You have to wait for this to happen. Wait, snooping around doesn't understand the concept of privacy. Mike, I would strangle you if I could. Oh my gosh. I can't do it in the open. I shut off this dang music. <laughs> anyway, I have to think of something fast. I have to kill him when nobody will have found his body. I remember there be I remember there being a good place for it and someone to do it for me. I have to make him go there by myself though. Nobody can ever know what my deal is. And if that doesn't work, well, I'll probably just have to reactivate it. Uh, I'm so evil. <laughs> I have a feeling that that's C Bill talking. Where have you been? I was slightly worried. Where? Because you didn't have a oh, because you don't have a brother who would take care who could take care of all this mess that a missing mic would cause. And we actually got two more submissions. You'll be doing these for the rest of the day. Is that clear? Oh my gosh! Someone wants us to build a rock chop. They are practically chipping at 2.5, but not really. See, I'll oh, see that you get this done soon. Build a rock chop. What is a rock chop? I can build it. Mm, I can I can literally build it like right now without any problem. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh. <laughs> all right. Wait. I don't. I, I I keep saying all right. Like you know, it, it's not all right. <laughs> all right. Take these down. Oh, I didn't mean to build that. Hold on. Or plant that. Craft. Rock chop. Wait, what does it give us? Rich wood and good rock. Okay. Another customer wanted a storm machine. You want to build something else first. What are clouds? Where do you get clouds from? I mean, clouds. Yeah, Mr. Rainmaker. I need a crazy face and a crazier face. I know where to get those at. Pay 25 feathers. Oh, I didn't even know I had 25 feathers. Wait, how many feathers do I have? 45? Okay, I, I got them. Um, I guess we can go build the, build the, um, the cloud guy now. Cloud, I mean, or the rainmaker now. Yep. I don't think I want to build the rainmaker. Like, that, it kind of looks scary. But, uh, I'm not worried about it. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not worried about these mud monsters either. <laughs> Alright. Um, craft. Mr. Rainmaker. Yeah, I, I did. I don't want to. No. Nope. <laughs> I, I, honestly, I honestly don't want to build that thing anymore. Alright, we're running out of room here. So we're kind of, we're kind of, we're kind of like forced to chop down these trees. Um. What are we trying to build again? Um, storm machine. How do you get a glass cage? I, th I think that was in the shop. Yep, yeah, I don't care. What are we trying to get again? Oh yeah, glass cage. Boom. Mm -hmm. Pretty much all we need. So we have to we have to get those metal. Um. Wait, drawing. What is that? Unknown. Yeah, wait, hold on. What is that? Coffee to go. I don't want to build that. I don't. I don't want to build that. All right. Okay, so we need two metal bars. We can get metal bars from that guy down there oh all right two right i needed two yeah i need two metal bars 
Um, but look at my inventory right now, bro. This is crazy. This is actually like outrageous. Alright. Build. Storm machine. Alright. Oh, it's, you surely want to rest now. Okay, well, back to the scary stuff. For the first time in an hour, like I've been recording for an hour, and I'm, we're finally doing something scary. <laughs> Dang. You're finally getting to in, in, getting into the FNAF aspect of it. I mean, it, it's always like the FNAF aspect, but like, you know, we're finally getting into, into like the night aspect of everything. Yes, I want to go to bed. What a weird day. Yeah, and it was a weird day. Like, we did like so much stuff today. Later that night. Oh. It was night three, right? Yeah. When you hear the monster's vo wait, what? When you hear the monster's voice, click right, okay, right click turn to turn off the living room lights. You have enough time to do your other chores first. First. All right. I hear something. I swear I heard something like over here. Yeah. What did I say? Go refill. Go refill. Turn them off. Oh, shoot. That's Sea Billy. Was that supposed to happen? Like, wh wh why did I just get punished? Oh, yeah, it's over, guys. Oh, uh, well. Mm. Mm, the flashlight was out of battery. <laughs> the flashlight was out of battery. I don't know what to tell you. So I'm guessing I could check all three. No. O only two. I'm, I'm only going to do two because, you know, all three might be a little bit of a drag. <laughs> because, like, think about it. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. I think it's pretty hard. It's only a night three. Why did I check the windows? Three I, I heard the other guy. The shorter guy. I heard him at one of the doors. I swear I did. Oh. <laughs> he's really hard. Like, he makes a noise, I'm pretty sure. But I think he's really hard to hear. Okay, you don't have to shut the window or, sh or shut the curtain for that long. It's just like only like a second, honestly. All right, check that first. He's here. He's over here. Oh well, he was the other way. Yeah, I was about to say, please, they're both there. All right, turn the lights off. Am I gonna get jump scared again? <laughs> home sweet home. Oh. <laughs> why, don't I, why don't I say it like that? Like, am I gonna get jump scared again? Oh, well, it's over. Thing at the door. Oh, he's not even here. I need to refill the flashlight anyway. Like, I know it's like not halfway, but I'm still gonna refill it. You're over here. Yeah, that's the other one. I really hope the other one was gone. Just refill it to refill it. This one's aggressive. It's over. Oh. 
What if that other guy was there? Why do I just keep getting jump scared by that? Like, what is that? I should probably check the door. It's all the way up. B. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is gonna be one of those games. Oh my gosh. Wake up. I'm, I'm waking up. Like, you don't yell at me and tell me to wake up. What the heck? Who do you think you are? Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, good morning. Were you going your day with a bit of history? The answer is yes. Okay. I have something interesting to show you. Don't hesitate. Get go. Oh, crap. <laughs> it's over. He's here again. He. I, I, I forgot about that guy. I forgot he was about to get arrested. Good morning. Hello, officer. What made you visit my holy place of lumber? Don't play. You know why I'm here. I need to see the proof. Oh, 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 that. Yes, I have proof. I don't know where I put it, though. It has to be lying around here somewhere in the cabin, but I still can't find it. Silly me. Give me a few hours. No. Why so froggy? <laughs> That's it. You're under arrest for sleep disturbance and murder. Murder? Since when's that a topic? You know exactly what I'm talking about. That, oh, the bird was killed by one of your chipper mats last night. Man, I really need a television. <laughs> Come with me or else. My gosh! Oh, Mike! Oh, oh, Mike! Violence is always the answer. I mean, oh, the solution. That's what—that's what your mother would say. But that was a sick move, good boy. You better throw him into one of the city's back alleys when he wakes up. You think he drinks too much? <laughs> oh my gosh! Yo, this is actually like unprecedented. Well, I mean, I—I I guess we have to do it. Can we walk a little bit faster? Like, I'm getting upset. <laughs> oh, 80% off of everything. Yeah, they're, gonna, they're definitely going to shop here. Come on, hurry up! Alright, we're at the city. Did I do it? What? <laughs> Good job! Oh, I got something in the mail. Okay, look how much stuff I'm getting now. Come over to the dump. I have something interesting to show you. Am I gonna have to fight another boss? Like, if I'm gonna have to fight another boss, you can. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> All right. You want, I want to make sure there aren't any more robots in the dump that are out for revenge. What is that? Then I found this: a rocky socket for what looks like the oh for for what looks to be the shape of the legendary spine crystals. I already got one in it. What's a spine crystal, you ask? Hundreds of years ago in ancient Egypt, people wanted to blah oh but people wanted blah 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 space time blah 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 spine blah 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 blah. They all died blah 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 screams blah 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 magic creatures and all that stuff blah. And then I sold them on the market because the company wasn't paying off. Oh my god. I'm really curious to what will happen if we put them back in their sockets. I remember that I sold one to Tinker the Owl back when we built oh back when he built creepy looking machines in the forest. Then he retired and lives in the mountains now. Maybe he kept a spine crystal. So I'm relying on you to get up there and pay him a visit. And bring me my spine crystal. Yeah, we're doing that next episode. I'm I'm not doing that right now. Alright, yeah. 
so um that was Tykin Sun's Lumber Co. Part Two. We did a lot this episode. Not like you know like the scary stuff. Like not a lot of the scary stuff. <coughs> but we did a lot of like you know work. That was like three fourths of the episode. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, yeah, goodbye guys.